Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where a guy expects strangers to buy him fresh steaks. I don't care if it takes you 10 hours to do the job, you'll do it for 25 pounds, no more, that's enough. That's 2 pounds and 50 pence per hour, and I bought frames for 4 pounds each, which you agreed to previously, since you didn't want the ones that I already had. You know, I've just redecorated, so I need black frames. That's fine, and I was happy to buy them. But I am not doing your picture now, because it'll take about 10 hours if it goes smoothly. Also, I would have to buy two 4 pound frames and drive to deliver them to you, all for 25 pounds. I asked if you were happy to pay for the frames when I sent the picture, and you said yes. We agreed you would pay 35 pounds, and on top of that it's an additional 8 pounds for the frames. That's a really good offer considering you went to very detailed dog pictures plus backgrounds and calligraphy. You'd pay over 100 pounds anywhere else. Well, I am not paying that. I'm giving you 25 pounds. Take it or leave it. Do you still work at such and such? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Minus the frames and delivery costs, do you really think that 17 pounds for 10 hours of work is decent? The fact that you think that's fair pay is extremely concerning, and I'm worried about you. I'm gonna contact your manager, because if that's what you consider fair pay, then you're clearly getting taken for a ride. What the F does my job have to do with anything? Don't you dare contact my manager! Oh my gosh, you seem really afraid of him too. I'm sorry this has happened to you. You should never be in a position that you think 17 pounds for 10 hours of work is fair pay. I'll go straight to the proper authorities and report him for what he's done to you. Please get yourself a job that would never make you think that so little pay is acceptable. If you don't feel comfortable helping me because of my request, then please keep scrolling. I am so disappointed with the amount of hate I've gotten from folks in this group. I was always so proud to be from such a wonderful neighborhood, but clearly some folks aren't feeling very neighborly. I've closed the comments due to a discouraging amount of hate and judgment. If you're interested in helping, please DM me. Thank you all to the wonderful folks who have helped me without judgment. Heart emoji. <laughs> and then OP goes on to the original post. Hey folks, I'm wondering if someone can help me and my wife out with some meals and groceries for the week of August 15th. I'm currently having a mental health crisis, which means that I'm currently unable to work much this week. That means that next week, I won't get enough money to pay for groceries. We would really appreciate anything that you're able to do. For meals, we eat just about everything. Just no peanuts because of my allergy and no spicy food, please. We would be equally happy with homemade meals and takeout. For groceries, we're open to multiple people helping with this because we realize it's a lot. All right, so this guy's grocery list <laughs> is pretty long, and I kind of feel bad reading it because it's kind of boring, but I just want to illustrate how much food this guy expects other people to buy him for free. We need three packages of bok choy, carrots with stems if possible, three bunches of parsley, one bag of green beans, three bunches of kale, five pink lady apples, five ripe plums, five ripe peaches, one pack of white mushrooms, two hits of broccoli, one tomato, 2 pounds ground beef, steak of any kind, 1 pack of milk, 1 small tub of ricotta cheese, 4 boxes of chocolate Lucky Charms, 1 roasted rib pepper jar, and 1 pack of naan bread. Thank you again for your help. We really appreciate this wonderful community and any support that you're able to give. Down in the comments, OP is getting absolutely eviscerated. I would have been happy to help you until I saw your request. Steak, cottage cheese, chocolate, these are luxury items. I'm a single mom with two kids, and I can't even afford everything you're asking for. Good luck with your request, but you should have asked for less. I'm sorry that would stop you from helping someone in need. I don't believe that just because someone is in dire straits, they don't deserve to eat healthy, fresh food. The same goes for you. I think you deserve those things as well. I'm usually in the position that I'm the one giving to others, and I would never judge anyone for what they asked for. I give a lot, but I also eat mac and cheese if I need to. That's wonderful that that works for you. I would encourage you to be a little less judgmental though. You always have the ability to scroll past a post. What was the purpose of telling me I would have helped you, but... Alright, I've got to interrupt you. <laughs> I've got to interrupt real quick. 
So since when is four boxes of chocolate lucky charms eating fresh, healthy food? Anyways, someone else chimes in. I gotta say, I 100% agree with the single mom. I'm really sorry that you're in need, but that list. And it's nice to know that you'll accept takeout also. I'm sorry, but this list does not read as being from someone in need, but rather as from an entitled individual who feels that his lifestyle shouldn't be altered even at the expense of other people. Just like the single mom, I'm not going to give you a dime towards this. Then don't keep scrolling. I just read your edit to the original post. There's been no hate thrown your way, just simple facts of life. To put it in a time-honored phrase, beggars can't be choosers, and I would add to that that asking for a steak might be considered a tad overboard. I'm sorry that you don't believe folks in need deserve to eat fresh foods. If there are kind people in my community willing to help me, then why should I eat mac and cheese for a week? That makes no sense. Where did anyone say that people in need don't deserve to eat fresh foods? No sir, we didn't. You seem to think that saying things like this will make some people feel sorry for you, but basically all you're showing us is that you know that your requests are extravagant. <laughs> all right, there's just, there's so much wrong with this pose. I don't even know where to begin. First of all, if you're having a rough week, then just make one week's groceries stretch out two weeks. That's what the logical thing is, right? That's what most people would do. You just buy cheaper, longer lasting foods and you tough it out for an extra week until your next paycheck. And steak? This guy has the audacity to ask for actual cuts of steak? Four boxes of Lucky Charms? Who goes through four boxes of Lucky Charms in one week? That's more than half a box of cereal in one day. I guess three or four bowls of cereal every single day, is that right? Am I doing this math right? You can't be like, oh, this body is a temple and I only put in the freshest, purest ingredients. That's why I eat a bowl of chocolate Lucky Charms every two hours. Hello, I'm looking for a babysitter. I'm willing to pay 100 to 125 for four to five days. Please DM me if you're interested. I'm in the Lake Nona area. Time to whip out the calculator. That's 25 per day. Divided by eight hours is $3.12 per hour. Nice. Lady, if you can't afford basic childcare, then maybe you shouldn't live on a lake. Okay, so on that note, I went down in the comments and people from Florida are pointing out that Lake Nona is a super rich suburb in Orlando. So I went to go look up Lake Nona on realtor.com and houses are selling from like 500K to up to a million. So if someone can afford a $750,000 house, then they should be able to afford basic childcare needs. Posted to Facebook, my birthday is in five days on July 20th. For those who can't make it to me, my cash app is blank. Anything is fine, thanks. <laughs> and then OP posted an update. Ugh, I saw that a lot of you all liked this post yesterday, but no one dropped anything in my cash app. Let's try it again, shaking my head. If I tagged you, then that means I consider you a friend, so let's make it happen. <laughs> the funny thing about this is that only seven people like this post, and we have to assume that one of them is OP's mom. So I have a suspicion that OP isn't nearly as popular as they think they are. Selling pet carrier for $50. I would like to buy your extra large pet carrier for $10. No thanks, 40 bucks is the lowest. Okay, I'll offer you $12, not one penny more, sir. You're hilarious. This thing sells for over $200 in the store. I would rather throw it in the trash than sell it for that cheap. Okay, where are you located so I can go and get it from the trash? Thank you. <laughs> All right, fair. That's, that's kind of funny. I got to give that one to him. That's kind of funny. This next post was posted by a YouTuber. I'm hiring. Okay, so I've got a dead Instagram account and I'm thinking of reviving it. However, I don't really have time to manage my Instagram account. I'm looking for someone who can manage the Instagram account. You must fit the following requirements. One, you can post small little clips of my videos and gameplay every two to three days. Two, you must provide proof that you have previous Instagram or other social platform account management experience. Three, you've got to have a huge PP. Four, you won't post random unrelated stuff. Five, you're willing to do this for fun and for the boys, not for any money. If you would like to apply, please join my Discord server and DM me. 
Hey, OP, I would love to work for free. I love your content, and I'm actually an expert in social media management. But unfortunately, I have a really small PP, so I guess I don't qualify. On this next post, this choosing beggar sent out his cash app to everyone on his friends list. You know what's funny? If everyone I sent that cash app message to sent a dollar, then I would be back up to where I needed to be. One dollar. But nope, people are so effing stingy. Now I have to drop classes because I can't afford them. How great is that? My plans are going to hell, and all I want to do is start my future. I can't do that though, because my car decided to break down. Then the mechanic that I took it to replaced everything without calling me, and I had an $800 bill to pay. But that's okay, right? As long as my car's fixed. Nope, not fixed. I had to take it back because the check engine light came on. I repeated that about four times until I just decided not to spend any more money on that car. My check engine light is still on. And now I'm asking for help. Literally not much, just a couple bucks. Something that I would do and have done for someone else in a heartbeat. But when it's me that needs help, nope, can't get that. It's not like I'm asking for money for drugs or even gas money. I'm asking so I can afford my effing education. Think about that. While you're saving up for your stupid Supreme shirt or whatever the hell you're buying now, I'm saving up so I can have a future. Just think about that the next time you buy some stupid stuff. Down in the comments, I'm going to read this post from Anonymous Mananas. I think the fact that no one will give you $1 says more about you than the 800 people you asked. I don't know, just a thought. Our next Reddit post is from Eat My New Kedley. I'm a 22-year-old woman who just graduated as an engineer. After my graduation, my father, who's also an engineer, wanted to give me some money to help me start my life. Mind you, we live in Europe, so he wasn't paying for my education. But he also wanted to make me learn and at the same time help me with the start of my career. My dad has a small injection molding company and he has some machines that haven't been used in the past decade. So my job was to simply sell these machines and my dad would pay me a commission. In the meantime, I could work with people in the engineering field because I really want to work in the same field with plastics as my father. I searched for months and months to find a company who's a big time seller and would charge us nothing less than the price that we were asking for. I found our guy, a salesman, let's call him Steve. Steve didn't seem amazingly competent in his field, and I noticed it immediately even though I'm also a beginner. He asked questions about stuff that was already written down, or that was really easy to figure out if you knew just a little bit about injection molding machines, or just searched it on Google. Furthermore, he wanted us to pack an almost 4 meter tall machine into a much smaller truck because he didn't want to pay us for dismantling it. And with that, he also risked the machine falling off his truck, not to mention a fine if the authorities catch him dangerously transporting a machine that weighs 8 tons. But whatever, his company's the one paying for it, and he's the one who's bad at logistics. Our last machine was delivered to their company two months ago, and today I received this email. Hi, this is Steve. So, the other company that we sold your machine to is complaining that when they unpacked it, the machine didn't contain the temperature controlling units. Please help us solve this problem and satisfy the other company and send us the units that were left off free of charge. And then he pasted the other company's email in plain text in English. He didn't even bother translating it, he just copy and pasted it from the other email. We are not native English speakers, and he wasn't either, so this was simply rude and pretentious. I wrote back, Hi Steve, it's me, OP. The three temperature control units were not in the deal that we sent you and that you paid for. They're separate machines with separate serial numbers that aren't part of the machine that we sold you. We only sold you the injection molding machine with a serial number of such and such. Hi, it's Steve. We talked it through with our customer and they're really angry still. Even you, a girl in the industry, would understand the machine couldn't be used without the temperature control units. I hope it's understandable, even for you. The pictures you sent us of the machine months ago contained those units, and we thought those were part of the deal because a machine couldn't even work without them. Since the picture you sent us contained the units, you must send them free of charge urgently. Also, here's a picture of another machine that our customers bought back in 2014, and that had the units when they were unpacked. Obviously, I got angry at him for pulling the, you're just a girl who wouldn't know card. 
and the fact that he was asking for three temperature controlling units that are 1200 euros each. My final answer to him was, hi Steve, it's OP. You, as someone who's working in this field, should also know, even if you are a man, that electricity is also a must for an IM machine, and we don't provide that either. Oh, and a mold for injection molding was on the picture too, and we didn't send that either. We will gladly send you the temperature control units, if you can point out on the contract where it says that we actually sold those to you. We only sold you the injection mold machines. Honestly, OP, this guy was pretty stupid. You can't take a picture of an object and just assume that everything else in the picture is also included in the sale because that's not really how it works. You would think that, as a man, he would understand that very simple concept. On this next post, OP is posting on a support group for Twitch and he's complaining that people aren't watching his Twitch stream. So, every time I post in this Twitch growth and support group, I get no support. But I'm pretty sure that I've supported a lot of you guys. It's all good to be focused on yourself, but remember, we're all here for each other, so don't forget to tune into other people's streams. I'm out. And then he makes another post. So, I'm confused about this group. Y'all claim to be streamers, but I never see any of y'all in my stream. And before any of you say it, yes, I've been a viewer in multiple people's streams. I just don't understand why this group is here. Sorry, not sorry. I was trying to decide if I want to actually give this advice because as a professional content creator, I have a lot of really useful advice to give here. However, the advice I have to give is really harsh, so I'm a little bit hesitant to give it because it's kind of ruthless, but this is honestly what I believe. If you're a content creator and no one is watching your stuff, then the reason for that is because your content sucks. Like, I'm sorry, it's a sucky thing to say, but it's true, that's just the reality. Don't get me wrong, this is something that I personally really struggled with a lot. I've been a YouTuber for five years, and when I started, I was getting literally under 100 views per YouTube video. And it ate me up, because I was like, why is no one watching this when this other YouTube channel that I'm comparing myself to, myself to, they get thousands and thousands of views, so what makes them so much better than me? They're not any better than me, but the reality was, they were better than me. I just wasn't yet good enough at my job to be able to say, the reason why that person is getting more views than me is because this is better, that's better, this is better, that's better. It took months, years of grinding, making hundreds of videos before I finally realized, okay, uh, I know what I'm doing wrong, I know what these other people are doing right, and now I know how to put out better content, so I'll do it. I would say to anyone thinking of being a pro YouTuber that you have to put out, honestly, a hundred bad videos before you can put out one mediocre video. And then you have to put out a hundred mediocre videos before you put out one truly great video. That's the beautiful thing about social media, is that it's one of the few places that's a true meritocracy. It's not like someone can just be like, oh, well, my aunt is Sujin Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube, so she hired me into this position and now I'm a pro YouTuber. No, it doesn't work that way. If you're good, you'll get subscribers, you'll get viewers. If you're not, then you won't. And yeah, as harsh as this is, I feel that I am that I have the right to trash on people with this mentality because I had this mentality. I was the whiny entitled, well, why don't I get subscribers? Why don't I get viewers? Because I sucked, man. Because I sucked because I was putting out bad videos. That was our slash choosing beggars. And if you like this content, check out my Patreon where I publish extra episodes. Also hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.